wondering what I eat in order to lose over 100 pounds. In this video, I will give you some ideas to get started and some meal ideas to stay on track when you're on keto. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. everybody doing today I'm feeling absolutely great today I'm going to be recording uh, two videos today so I'm just gonna do kind of a what I eat in a day vlog style video and as well I am going to be doing a, a different video which you probably would have seen first because I think I'm going to post it on Wednesday um, but you would have seen that video already and it's going to be um, 10 minute meals. So if you haven't seen that video, um, I will link that video here and make sure you go check it out. It has a lot of fabulous ideas for making meals 10 minutes or under. Okay, so finally after four days of rain, we finally have a really nice day. It is absolutely beautiful out. The sun is shining, the birds are out. Everything is so green from all the rain that we've been getting. Um, so it was May long weekend here in Canada, which um, Monday the 24th was a holiday. It was Victoria Day. And usually that's like the kickoff to summer and everybody goes camping and everybody plays outside, does outside sports, goes on a little vacation. But it rained all weekend, like poured all day all night um so it was kind of funny because jimmy and i never plan anything for May long weekend because the weather is so unpredictable here in southern alberta in canada so we always stay home we don't go camping because i always feel like what's the point of going camping if you can't really out enjoy the outdoors and you're stuck stuck in your trailer the whole entire weekend to me it just it doesn't seem appealing by any means and not only that um for jimmy's sake to set up and like tear down the trailer in pouring rain it, it's not not fun so so that's why we decided to stay home this weekend and i worked all weekend anyways jimmy had the whole weekend off um but we decided to stay home and you know make plans for probably the end of june going into july because canada day is july 1st 
Um, so we will probably book off that whole entire weekend. I think it lands on a Thursday this year and we plan on going camping then because at least it's nice long days by that as well. So by the end of June, it's always bright and nice out until like 11 p.m. It's absolutely wonderful. So that is our plan for our first camping trip, I believe, is going to be that weekend. So I'll be sure to take you guys along with me if you are interested in seeing that. I kind of like doing vlogs. Um, let me know down below what you really enjoy from my videos. I know a lot of people enjoy the what I eat in a day, but I do enjoy doing like what I eat a day with a twist, with kind of like a vlog style, um, with what I'm doing, where I'm going, if I'm spending the day with Jimmy. Um, so let me know down below if you are interested in more vlogs from me kind of gives you an insight I feel like on my life as well too not like <laughs> my life is not interesting by any means don't get me wrong I work a lot um, but still kind of like if I do a vlog it gets you to know me a little bit better and kind of my daily life and having Jimmy in more vlogs you know that's probably never a bad thing <laughs> Oh, he definitely, I always tr tell him to like intro a video and thinking that maybe he'll like carry on with it, but it's really hard talking into a camera because you're not talking to anybody. So it does feel awkward in the beginning and it takes practice to know that you're actually talking to somebody and to my viewers and my friends. And Jimmy just thinks that he's recording into nothing. So I think he just records a little bit and like a, little, a minute, not even, and then he's done because he's like, this is kind of pointless, but I would love for him to like take over a vlog. That's kind of, I'm gonna try. I am going to get him to take over one of my vlogs and um, he will keep you entertained, right? So that has been my weekend. You guys will be seeing this later on in the week, but that was kind of my weekend in a nutshell. I didn't do much of anything, but um, it is nice and sunny here today in Southern Alberta. All right, so in today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing um, two new recipes. Both of my meals today are going to be new recipes that I've never tried before. Um, my first meal is kind of, I've tried like similar to it, but not exactly, so that's why I'm gonna share it with you guys. And, um, just kind of have like a little twist and another option for a breakfast idea or even a brunch idea as well too. And my dinner, which I'm actually pretty excited about, and it is going to be, it's gonna be a good recipe. I have high hopes for this recipe that I am making for dinner. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned for that, but I'm excited to be sharing two new recipes in this video. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. sometimes something sweet for meal number one so when I make a recipe like this one like I'm making today I always suggest um, it would be a great brunch option or something to have on the weekend or on a day off I just feel like this kind of isn't an everyday breakfast but today I was kind of craving something sweet this morning and I wanted to share another recipe it is pretty similar like a recipe that I have made before but um, just kind of the procedure on how I make it is a little bit different. So this recipe is called stuffed blueberry French toast. So it's not going to be your traditional French toast as far as um, dipping it and making it the traditional way. This is made just a little bit different. So if that's what you're interested in, then let's get started. I also want to mention for today's recipe, the bread that I will be using is going to be the cinnamon raisin carbonate bread. I have received this bread from Nutramarket. Their website is always linked down below a little further down in my description, but this bread is very, very good. It works out to be one net carb per slice. Definitely not the cleanest. I don't recommend having this every day, 
probably only once or twice a week, but today is going to be the day that I'm going to be making something sweet with this bread. So All right, first this is going to be what we are going to dip our mixture in. So we are going to need one egg, and then we are going to need some heavy whipping cream. I usually don't measure it, I just put however much I feel. It's probably looks out to be like two tablespoons. Then we are going to be putting a splash of vanilla and this is going to be what, like, it's like a French toast mixture, but we are just kind of, the procedure to make this is going to be a little bit different. And then we are going to be adding some of our cinnamon. I'm going to be using a tablespoon of the Swerve granule sugar. Um, I get mine off of Amazon. I find it always has the best price, so I always have that link down below in my Amazon favorites down in the description. So we are gonna add just a little bit less than a tablespoon as well for that. Then we are going to whisk all this up. Then we are going to make our stuffed French toast. So we'll mix all of that together and just set it aside for now. So in a bowl, we are going to take some softened cream cheese and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this in the microwave just for a little bit to soften it up. All right, so this is all softened up now and we are gonna add a little bit of our sweetener once again, our Swerve sweetener. We are going to add, I'm just gonna use about probably um, a little less than a teaspoon in this. There we go. Then we are going to add a splash of lemon juice. And then we are going to fold in our blueberries. So you can weigh out however much blueberries you want as far as um, getting it to your macros. I'm just gonna put in like a little, little handful. I think that should be good. And then we are just gonna fold that into our cream cheese mixture, okay? Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to take our bread. I am going to use the two slices. I freeze my keto bread just so that I can have it always on hand because I'm the only one that's keto in my family. So what we are going to do is we are going to put this cream cheese mixture inside our two pieces of bread and then we are gonna dip it and let it soak in our egg mixture. And then we are going to fry that in our frying pan with some butter. So let's do that. All right, so this is our egg mixture that we had made previously. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir again. There we go. And then we are going to soak our French toast, stuffed French toast in the egg mixture for a little bit. I like soaking mine for a little bit. I don't just like dipping it and then putting it in right away. Everybody kind of has their own way to make French toast, but do it however you normally make your French toast. So you just wanna make sure with this that you're getting all the corners as well too. And we're just gonna let that soak for a couple minutes while we get our frying pan warmed up with the butter. All right, so I am ready to put my stuffed French toast in our frying pan. I just kinda have it on a medium low heat for now and we will just cook it like we do regular French toast. So actually while the French toast is cooking, I am going to be a little extra with my um, stuffed French toast today. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put some of my berries in a little tiny frying pan that I have. I'm just gonna put a few of them, another little tiny handful. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of water with that, not too, too much. And I'm going to use some of my Swerve sugar replacement. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with a teaspoon, about a half of a tablespoon in this mixture, maybe a little bit less actually. There we go. 
and put that in the frying pan as well. And we are just gonna cook this down and kind of make it into, I don't know, what you, what you would call it, maybe like a roux or some sort of like topping. It's gonna essentially be like a topping to go on top of my uh, French toast, just because I'm feeling a little bit extra today. So let's do that. I'm just gonna keep this on a little bit of a high heat to kind of break it down. Now I've never done this with my um, blueberries, so <laughs> I could even be doing this wrong. So, um, but I wanted to kind of just give it a try and try to make this perfect. So I'm just gonna let this kind of boil down a little bit. And then by that time, probably our French toast will be done at the same time. All right, this is almost done. So I will get back to you once everything is complete. the final product I had made some bacon with it even though this meal this French toast actually is fairly high in fat with the cream cheese um, but I still wanted to add a little bit of bacon just to make sure that I was getting enough food for my meal but oh my gosh you know what I feel like this should be on a TikTok. like tell me your extra without telling me your extra and <laughs> that would be all of that, all the blueberry roux that I put on there. Like that looks delicious and I feel like it's gonna make this meal. So let's give this a taste test. Okay, for this we will definitely be needing a knife and fork. This is going to be messy, but it absolutely looks delicious. So you can top it with anything. Um, you can top it with even my homemade whipped cream that I make, that would be really good, or just even with syrup. Um, you don't have to do the blueberries kind of broken down, but I just thought it would make it really, really nice and blueberry. So let's give this a taste. Oh my. I surprise myself. I honestly surprise myself with some of these recipes. Um, I cannot believe how good they actually turn out. Like I am not one to experiment with a lot of recipes with baking or cooking. I'm just not that type of person. There's people out there that totally love to bake and love to cook and can make recipes on their own very, very easily. That's one thing that I feel like having this YouTube channel actually has expanded that for me as far as adding more seasonings to my cooking, experimenting with baking, experimenting with foods, with, with foods and flavors that I love. I mentioned before that I love anything blueberry, raspberry, lemon, coconut. Those are like my top favorite flavors. So if I can make anything keto incorporating those flavors, then I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. And I love cream cheese. I loved cream cheese even prior to keto. So something like this is absolutely amazing. Like, look at that. It looks, does that not look delicious, you guys? It tastes amazing. I promise you guys will absolutely love this. So whatever keto bread that you have, it will work for this recipe. I know in the States there's solo bread, so I would give that a try here in Canada. Like I said, we have the carbonate bread, the white carbonate bread, um, and now with the cinnamon raisin. So this is a keeper. This tastes absolutely amazing, you guys. Give it a try. Let me know down in the comments if you give this a try or any of my French toast recipes. I make a lot of similar recipes, but a little bit different. If you made any of those, let me know down below. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, 
So this is absolutely amazing. I also wanted to mention that I will have the macros for all of my meals on the screen. I usually list the calories and the net carbs is what I'm gonna be doing today is net carbs. I mix it up by doing a few days of total carbs and a few days of net carbs, just because I am in maintenance, so I'm not too, too strict on myself. But um, in today's video, I will have all of the net carbs written on the screen, so the calories and the net carbs for this absolutely amazing meal that I had made today will be on the screen. All right, for supper tonight, I am going to be making a buffalo um, chicken. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese is what it is called. I have not made this recipe before, so I wanted to give it a try. So I found this recipe online and I actually have her cookbook as well. Um, I will link the cookbook down below that I'm resorting it from, but I absolutely love that cookbook and I actually have made a lot of recipes from that cookbook, so I use it quite a bit. But hopefully this will turn out and let's give it a try and let's get started. We are going to start by cutting up our cauliflower. All right, so we are just going to cut up our cauliflower and put it on a baking sheet, and then we are going to want to roast it. Um, I have the oven preheating at 400. So I like roasting um, and baking my cauliflower because actually I have IBS, so I prefer actually when it is cooked, I cannot eat it when it is raw. Um, so that's why I liked um, I like my loaded cauliflower bake that I always make as well. It's one of my favorite recipes. So hopefully this will also turn out good because I feel like this would be a pretty easy meal to be making when you're busy and on the go because it's just kind of like that one sheet meal in a sense. So I'm just going to finish split breaking all this cauliflower up and put some olive oil on top and then we are going to bake it in the oven once our oven is all preheated. in the oven I just have some rotisserie chicken that I am just going to fry up for a couple minutes all right our chicken is just kind of frying up here this chicken has already obviously been cooked because it is a rotisserie chicken so I so we are going to use a half a cup of this buffalo sauce in with the chicken Okay, we are just gonna let this simmer for a little bit, just so that the chicken kind of like marinates with the buffalo sauce. We are just gonna keep it on low for a couple minutes, and then we are going to get started on the mixture that we will put in with the cauliflower and this chicken as well too. All right, so in a saucepan, I just have some butter. It's about a tablespoon of butter, and I'm just going to turn this on low. Then I'm going to add um, a little bit of garlic as well to this. So I'm just going to add some minced garlic to the butter. And I'm going to add one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream to that. And I'm also going to add a cup of mozzarella. and a quarter cup of blue cheese as well too. Oh, 
Also going to add a third of a cup of softened cream cheese. And also some Parmesan cheese as well too. All right, we are just gonna stir this until everything melts all together. So this is our cauliflower out of the oven and I'm just gonna transfer it over to a smaller casserole dish. So I'm just gonna use um, probably, I would say three quarters of the cauliflower and I'm just going to keep this probably in my fridge just for leftovers to put with a different meal throughout the week. But it's just gonna be me eating this um, smaller casserole dish so I don't wanna make a huge serving of it. Then what we are gonna do is put our chicken on top of that. And then we are going to put our cheese mixture over top of the entire thing. All right, and then we are going to top it with um, some more mozzarella. So you can put some more blue cheese as well too. And the recipe that I will have linked down below um, calls for some celery as well too. And I'm not a big celery fan. So I'm just going to put mozza, mozzarella cheese on the top. And then we are going to put it in back in the oven for another 12 to 15 minutes. This is it right out of the oven. I left it in there for 15 minutes because um, I do like my cheese like fairly melted. So this is it. Supper will be served. I am just gonna let it cool for a little bit and then we will plate it up. We are ready to dish it up. So I'm actually going to cut this into four sections. I believe it's four servings um, that I made, but I'm just gonna have four cut it up into four servings. I think that's gonna be best. And I'm just gonna use a spoon and I feel like a bowl is probably gonna work out better. So I am just going to spoon that right into the bowl. Ooh, that looks delicious. Yum. Ooh, it smells so good too. Ooh. Get some of that sauce. There we go. All right, so there, supper is served. And let's give it a quick taste test before I sit down for supper. All right, I'm just gonna try this with a fork quickly before I sit down and eat it, but it looks delicious. My The cauliflower is nice and soft as well too. Like I said, with my IBS, I have to make sure that the cauliflower is fully cooked. Having it cooked doesn't bother me, but having it raw does. And this looks like temperature hot, so give me a sec. Mmm. Yum. That is some really, really good flavor. I feel like the red hot buffalo spice isn't too, too spicy for me. I'm not a huge um, fan of having things really, really spicy. So if you don't like things like spicy, like even in the littlest bit, I would probably cut this down to even like an eighth of a cup and probably just use like half of the amount. Um, that would be the only recommendation as far as like the spiciness, but I don't find it too, too spicy, but everybody's level is different for spice. But this is so good, it has excellent, excellent flavor and it's a whole meal and that's another reason why I like it. So give it a try. I am going to put the total amount of calories and the total net carbs up on the screen right now. That is going to be my full day of eating. Fabulous, fabulous meals today. I think I'm definitely gonna make both of those repetitively because once I start liking something, I've said this before, then I just make it all the time because it is so, so good. So make sure you give both of these recipes a try on your next week meal plan. All right, everyone, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy what I eat in a day. I just wanted to share these two new recipes with you on today's video. They were 
delicious. Highly recommend both of those. I will have both of those recipes linked down below in the description. Make sure you give it a try. Really, really simple. Don't feel like all the ingredients and the, and the process of it, like don't let it intimidate you because I am not by any means like an avid um, cook or baker, but I found those recipes very very easy and it turned out to be really really quick as well, too So let me know what you guys are thinking of these recipes and if you're enjoying all my new recipes that I come up with and I hope that they're easy for you to follow along with as well, too Make sure you hit that red subscribe button Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell So YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching